cancels that out. Somebody do the math. So let's look at it together. Maybe the maybe this group can help you too. No, minus eight. One of the things that I'm most proud of here at Hidden Oaks, we're a K-8 school, and this provides Shannon, our student, that's hospital homebound, with an opportunity to feel like she is fully getting an inclusive education. My name is Shannon Hayes, and I am a sixth grade student at Hidden Oaks K-8 school. She's brilliant. She's so good at math. Um, she always answers questions and completes all of her assignments. She asks me questions. She participates. She's she's a great student. Shannon, what's 8 times 7? 8 times 7 is 56. Shannon's condition is called spinal muscular atrophy type 1. It's a condition that affects all her muscles and is a degenerative disease. So school, right now with the robot, it's amazing because I could be in a school environment without basically being in the school. Due to technology, she's able to participate and participate with her peers and ask questions and feel like, feel a sense of belonging. I've made many friends. I've made friends with this one girl called Grace, another one called Kayla, um, Leilani. All of them are just really nice. Nine times nine is 81. <laughs> I was looking online and then I saw this girl from other county that used this robot in the classroom and she had the opportunity to be in a classroom and a safe environment so I said why not? My school has been really kind and they paid for equipment. I contact Sue Alex, uh, is the ESE contact and we started to find information on how we were going to do this. And listen, everything that I asked for Shannon was given. So she make it happen. I have good grades in school. I've been through many hard situations and I feel like you need to live happy. You can't be sad all the time. Because if not, you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to be sitting in a dark room in a corner crying. Like a little ball. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't want to make people cry. Don't cry. I really, really want to take thanks to Hidden Oaks Elementary and Middle School for make my daughter be a part of a school. And I want to say thank you to the staff and all the people that were involved 